All right. Uh, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. April, would you introduce yourself? Tell us your, your DOC number. My name is April Loden. My DOC is. Could you hear us? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yes. Yes. My name is April Loden. My DOC number is 727416. Okay, April, let me acknowledge we have some folks who are joining us today. We have uh, Keely Parker and Mark Says who will be speaking uh, at the appropriate time. We'll ask them to do so. So first of all, April, you are classified as a second felony offender. You yes, are currently serving a five-year sentence for two separate sex offenses in Walsh Parish. One is indecent behavior with a juvenile, and then carnal knowledge of uh, carnal knowledge. Excuse me. Your parole eligibility was April first of this year. You do not earn good time, and you have full term date, which is July first, twenty twenty-four. Is all that accurate? Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, so I'll start the interview process with you. You, um, as I mentioned, you had two separate sex offenses. One was in 2017 with a, a, a you were, how old were you when that occurred? 26. And the victim was 16? Yes, ma'am. There was alcohol and drugs involved? No, ma'am. So they what happened? I can, can, can I change my answer on that one? They were on in under the influence of drugs and alcohol, but I wasn't. Right. The record indicates that you you provided the uh, drugs and alcohol. N no, ma'am. Okay. They came to my house. I was on the influence of my sleeping pills. So you were under the influence? Yes, ma'am. Of my medication that was prescribed to me. That was in 2017. We may go back to that. Then you were um, afforded probation, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. yes probation. Then you had a, another sex offense in 2020. Yes, ma'am. And that victim was 10 years old. Yes, she's my daughter. She's your daughter, your biological daughter. And, yes, and you Originally charged with first degree rape, and you ended the plea agreement. Yes, ma'am. So, were um, drugs or alcohol involved? In those no, ma'am. No, ma'am. So, what happened? Um, she had a yeast infection, and she kept itching her private area. And I asked her to let me look. And I cleaned off what tissue and stuff that was there. And I gave gave her some uh, monostat cream to put on it. And I was doing what I felt as a mother helping her. And I brought her to the doctor to get her um, treated for the yeast infection. Well, that doesn't change the reports that we have. Why would she say otherwise? I don't know exactly what was said. I haven't talked to her in more than three years. I mean, uh, I didn't, I got to see my case file. I mean, uh, my, what you call it? Um, motion of discovery for a couple of seconds and I didn't get to see it again the whole time I was incarcerated. So you're saying you didn't do anything to your daughter? No, no, I'm not saying I didn't do anything. I admit to my wrong, my wrongdoings on both cases. So it was more than treatment for a yeast infection. Yes, ma'am. It's not what you said earlier. 
So tell us about, you know, I'm just trying, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around why a mother would do something like that to her daughter. And then, you know, why would a 26 year old take advantage of a 16 year old? Yes, ma'am. And you, you took sex offender treatment, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm um, on my third um, phase. There's four phases, and I've made it uh, to facilitating the class. I have one more test to take, um, which is a lot, um, but I'm working on it. So what did you learn? I mean, you know, I told you I'm having a hard time understanding it. What kind of understanding have you come to about how mm -hmm. this all? Um, I'm leaving my children where they reside. Um, I want. I learned that I how not to reoffend, or um, and how she feels. Oh, how does she feel? Um, betrayed, hurt. Um, I lost my trust as a mother. Um, I've given any thought to the 16 year old. Um, I had that was, um, I, I regret what I've done at, in both cases. It was, it should have never happened. Have you had any substance abuse treatment? Yes, ma'am. I've took substance abuse. Took anger management, substance abuse, parenting. What was your substance um, choice? Um, marijuana. And what was the name of your class? The substance abuse class? Your substance abuse was the name of it? Yes, ma'am. How long was that program? Um, I think six to, it was either six or 12 weeks. Six or my, you don't remember? Ma'am. You don't remember six weeks, 12 weeks? You don't remember? No, ma'am, I don't remember how long it was. I take, I took in a lot of classes all at the same time. I do see, I do see you did Living in Balance 1 and 2, which is a substance abuse class and completed it in yes. 2020. Um, you did uh, Thinking for Change, you finished that in 2021. You did Victim Impact Training, you just finished that in March of this year. What did you get out of that class? Um, that's the class that I got. Um, I, I was where I learned that I was wrong and how it affected not just her, but everybody around us. It, it affected her grandparents. It affected me. It affected my child, my son's father, and everybody around us. And it taught me how to relate to how she feels. And you do have two victims. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, how they feel. So uh, whenever you get out of jail, whether it be on parole or your full-term day, where, where would you live? I have a, I own my own house in Bunky. Anybody lives there? Ma'am. Does anybody live there now? Yes, ma'am, my father. He's living in my house so nobody will break into it. What's your level of education? Um, I'm current, um, currently in school, but it was the 11th grade. You're currently enrolled in the HiSET program? Yes, ma'am. I took my HiSET in reading, but I failed it twice and only got one more chance. And I'm working on math. Um, like, that's the course I'm, I'm learning right now is... And uh, whenever you get out, what do you, how are you going to support yourself? Um, I get a disability check, and if I have to wait for it to get turned on, but me, mom, my father will help support me. If not, I'll 
get a job that I can handle meanwhile. I must say, I, I do have some concerns about the, the residents uh, residing in the residence with your father. It seems as though he may have been involved in some similar activities. Um, pornography. Yeah, that's what they say. What did you say? I, I don't know. I wasn't around him like that. Um, he was currently living in Missouri and came down here for my son. Um, they asked to see his phone. That's all. I, and they found whatever they found in his phone, like okay. that had nothing to do with me. All right. Um, Warden, is there anything that you can tell us about uh, Ms. April? Well, she's been with us um, for about two years now. She hasn't had any write-ups with us. She did recently complete the literacy class since being here. So that was on 7-6-2021. She has been enrolled in various classes. Um, and I did want to just mention, she has a mental health level care of three which, you know, she does have some mental health issues, but she's been on her medication and everything is um, in remission currently. Good. Good to know. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we'll hear now from the folks who have joined us by Zoom. First, we'd like to hear from Ms. Kelly Parker, Keely Parker, excuse me. Ms. Parker, can you unmute your phone and tell us what you'd like us to know? Okay, I'd like to start off by when the situation happened with my child and Miss April. Um, I, did, I was not made aware of it right away. And um, when I did, then I was also made aware of some underlying circumstances of a health problem that April had that had been transmitted to my child via a doctor's visit. So. The situation between my son and April has affected him and it will continue to affect him for the rest of his life. He cannot have a normal life like um, most young men should be able to do. He is still an emotional disaster from this. He cannot talk about it without getting extremely angry. Um, he just keeps telling me that he wants to forget it happened, which I, I don't know that he'll, that will ever be able to happen due to the circumstances that he contradicted a, a, a STD in the process of all of this. And I understand that I heard April say earlier that she did not provide them with alcohol or drugs. And based on the information that I received from my son and both other juveniles that were in attendance that night, she did provide them with alcohol and drugs. I know that's hearsay on my part, but I'd have to say three against one, I'm pretty much going to lead to believe what they have to say. And I, I hear that she's taking these classes and doing all this stuff. I don't understand what the mental health in remission means, because once you have a mental health issue, I understand taking medication, you can control the issues. But as far as going into remission, I, I don't I don't understand that part of it. And, and I deal with mental health clients on a daily basis. Um, but my, my main thing is I want everybody to understand that this is something that has affected my son traumatically. He has been spinning off and on with just drowning himself with alcohol to the point that at 21 years old, he had to get on medication for his liver. So it's something that he'll deal with the rest of his life in any relationship that he gets into. And I just don't see um, that being she committed another crime after the crime she committed with my child, there was very much remorse between him and committing the second crime. And I just don't know that that um, she could be a productive member of society at this point. That's just my personal feeling. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for sharing your feelings with us. We 
we have with us Mark Says. Sir, we'd like to hear from you. What'd you say? They want to hear from you. Oh, you start a test line. Yeah. Yes, ahead, my name is Mark Says. Yes, uh, Kylie is my granddaughter. Uh, we've been uh, keeping Kylie for a very long time before any of this stuff happened. And uh, the things that we found when it started about three years old, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but I want to get to the other part. But to let you know, Kylie was being abused by uh, at the age of three years old. My wife uh, would take and uh, give, she wanted to take a bath and uh, so she wanted my, uh, my wife to talk to her. And you know, how a kid, she played with these toys and stuff. So she spun around one day and my wife seen between her legs and she was red as far. And uh, the situation with that is it did not stop at that one time. We talked about this stuff and I, uh, and I told Lucille about it what we need to do. And I tried to get it to go through the schoolhouse to get this turned in that she was molesting her child then. And it was only not her. It was her Aunt Erica was involved in this too. So, you know, that went on there until the time that they, that they finally busted her in 2019. What, what, what she done with those two boys right there. Now, the thing is that it never stopped there she uh back in 2019 and probably 2018 part of that they had her daddy uh james loden was living in uh arkansas i mean yeah uh, uh, oklahoma but he moved to uh, uh, minnesota i mean to uh, missouri and the thing is he come in and uh stuff but then he started doing stuff he was taking pictures of kylie she was there watching him take pictures of Kylie and Kylie, uh, uh, James was also fooling with her between her, you know, in her private area. And that went on for a number of years right there. And then the second thing I want to tell y'all, her man, uh, Jake uh, LaBerge was her uh, boyfriend during that time. She also had uh, Jake LaBerge having sex with Kylie right in her presence doing this stuff you know so my granddaughter's been through a whole lot it's she's had a hard time she's doing good now she's the therapy that stuff that they went through counseling and now Kylie is uh is a decent girl she tried to also set my grand my my own son up for this uh doing these things to Kylie and which was unreal even took us to court but we won the court battle because it was a, a non-true bill She's been doing this stuff for a very long time. She got Jake LaBerge having sex with Kylie and her watching all that take place. And I don't see what kind of mother could do something like that. I know as a father, I couldn't bear to watch that at all. And, and just knowing it right here is really upsetting about this situation because, you know, Kylie might not even be able to have killed children right now. She did whatever she used on her she hurt Kylie on the inside bad. I'm not sure if it was some big deal do or whatever they want to call that sort of thing, but she hurt her bad. And uh, they were thinking that she may never have kids because she never started her period. Well, this year here about February, she finally started, but that still don't mean that she, they think that she would probably never have a kid because uh, of what she, the damage that she's done to her. And so, you know, we, we, well, we're taking good care of Kylie. She's happy. She graduated from the uh, sixth grade, I mean, the seventh grade to the eighth grade. And uh, she's uh, at home with us. Her daddy's around. She gave uh, my father, uh, my uh, son, a bad rap, which was not so. And uh, she, Kylie was very happy to be there. And she still is a, uh, 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 doing everything that she can to, be, to, to get over all this stuff. She does not try to talk about it. She went with my wife, talked talk to me, and uh, it was, uh, you know, and at one point there, she 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 said she can handle it, and so far she is. It's just a horrible yes, thing that April has done to this child. She was only 13, well, she, back during that time, she was only about uh, 12, 11 or 12. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Sage. I know I appreciate you um, sharing that information with us, and I'm glad to hear that 
Ali is doing okay. All right, April, uh, is there a brief statement you'd like to make to us before we go? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I want to, my sympathy goes out to my daughter and to um, her son. Um, I've owned up to everything that has happened. And I've, I feel like I could be a member of society again. I know what I've done wrong and I know where I've messed up. And I don't plan on anything like that ever happening again. I don't want no children around me. Um, I I don't. I just want to live at my house and stay to myself. All right, uh, April. Like, uh, you know, we we we're prepared to vote. I'll be voting first. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, but I don't believe you're very forthcoming with us today. I don't think you, you uh, were totally honest with us. Um, I, I do believe, I'm glad to hear you're making some progress in your uh, efforts for the GED. Uh, I think you you do, do need some more programs. There's law enforcement opposition, and you have a uh, high need in terms of education. So I think it's important that you do complete whatever programs you can. My vote today is to deny you parole. This is Vox. Uh, April, you, you do have some work to do. I want to commend you on the work that you have done, but you have a ways to go. Uh, Mrs. Sayes, uh, I'm just so glad to hear what you're doing, the impact you have on your granddaughter's life. It's just wonderful. So my vote is the same to deny for the same reasons. It's already been stated on the record. Ms. Jackson? Ms. Logan, uh, my vote likewise is to deny the Say you owned up to everything, you owned up to nothing. You have told the truth about giving alcohol and meth to the boys. You didn't tell the truth about the contact you had with your daughter. And I'm going to be honest, it's probably to me that you're facilitating a sex offender truth when you're not even telling the truth to yourself about your own crimes. I don't think you should be facilitating a group when you're still not being honest about what you've done yourself. You're a repeat offender, you have a poor supervision history, you lack candor in your responses to the board. So my book today is to deny. All right, uh, Ms. Loden, your parole today has been denied. Morning, LeBlanc. That concludes our business today. We're gonna adjourn, it's 11.06. Thanks for accommodating. Five years. Five years. That's the number of years that a judge felt was suitable to give a monster. Five years. Explain that. Explain how that sentence comes down. Explain how that deal is made. Let's remember that she had a first offense that she was given no time. She was given hardly a slap on the wrist. And then while she's out free on those crimes that she committed to those boys, passing an STD, he's an alcoholic on, on, on liver medication at the age of 21, completely derailed his entire life. And a judge says, what's the big deal? And then while she's out, she gets caught doing that to her little girl. And then a judge says five years. What? 
What? What? That's the best deal you can make? That's what the DA said? That you think that this is that the, the this is the punishment that you should give this serial child destroyer you do this to your own daughter How do you have any self-respect as a as a as a as a, as a district attorney to even recommend such a sentence? How do you have any respect as a judge to then accept a sentence like that? Oh, I know you you have to go to trial or blah blah blah, and we've seen, but this you know you, sometimes you got to make an exception. What's five years? She is a danger. As long as she is free, she is a danger. How do you not get thrown away for 20 years when you do that to a bunch of kids? She was, what, 26, 20, 26? And they were 16? It, if if he was a man and they were girl, you, you would just get probation for that? To give them meth and an STD? No, just a slap on the wrist. Probation. And guess what happened? Not a shock to any of us what happened. And this is the only times that she's gotten caught. And this story kept unraveling and unraveling, talking about inviting boyfriends to her house to 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 to, to sexually assault her own daughter, taking pictures and What? Five years? This is why, this is why I do this. This is why we do this. Because when we hold those responsible for protecting our children, when we hold them accountable, maybe they'll stop doing things like this. You know, we might not be lawyers. We might not be district attorneys. We might not be working in these industries, but we have common sense. We don't need a degree in these fields to know that what we are looking at is a monster, a cockroach, the worst that is exists in our society. We know that five years, after those five years, she will offend again. We know that you can't, that she is, a, 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 as long as she's breathing free air, our children are at risk. She is so dangerous. And to think she is teaching the sex offense class? Are you kidding me? She's facilitating the group.
Miss Renata says, you have high needs in terms of education. You should stay locked up. Yeah. What? You're just kicking the ball down the road. That's the craziest part. She's going to be free. She's going to be free. And you don't think she's going to find a way to be to 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 be around children? It's not if, it's when, and then it's how often until she gets caught again. And then what? Another five years? Because where's the logic? You don't want to take her to trial? So you just keep every, you know, every every time she gets caught another five years, another five years? At some point, you're going to have to throw the book at her. Why not now? She plied teenagers with meth and alcohol. Gave them S an STD. You know what that does to a child? We heard it. His life is, has been completely derailed. She stole so much from him and they didn't even give her a slap on the wrist they patted her on the back and they said go on and from what we've seen just on this little hearing was people who love her the child the grandfather who is saying things have been going on we've been yelling off the rooftops that things aren't right She goes into the hearing saying that there was a rash and that was it. Yeah, okay. This is evil. The most dangerous because you know that someone is going to say, let me leave my child with you. I have to go to work. She's going to age. She's going to look like a, a homely grandmother one day. People are going to feel safe leaving their kids with her. That's going to happen. Who's, who's meant to protect our children? She does not look like a monster. She does not look like a cockroach. She does not look dangerous. She does not look scary. Do, do you realize how, how dangerous that she, that is? how more dangerous that makes her? How is it so clear to us, but it's not to the judge, it's not to the DA? The, the DA doesn't even show up. Of course they didn't. Five years. How many hearings we do? We see people get 30 years for because it's their strike three on possession. Not even with intent to distribute, just possession. Purse snatching. Stealing two stakes. Stealing diapers and milk.
breaking into cars. We have seen people locked away for decades. But she gets five years. Well, the whole world will see this now. You can't hide it. This is the truth. This is our judicious system. There are people that went to sleep and don't have a hard time sleeping that are responsible for protecting us from this monster for five years. But in the sixth year, our children aren't that important. This is why I do this. This is why we do this. You know, you Google her name, not much comes up. Can't find anything. No news articles, no arrest reports, really. Like a, what was it? One, one article Richard found for me. Not an article, a, uh, Offender radar. I'll put the link in the description. But now, you know what? When you Google her name, you're going to see this at the top of the list. Try it. You're going to see this YouTube hearing. You're going to see her hearing. People will know what she's done. People will know who she is. People will know that this cockroach is walking around our neighborhoods. See that box of tissues in front of her? She didn't touch it once. She isn't, she has, she, the, the, I guess the clearest definition of a sociopath. And no, I don't need a degree to make that declaration. Do that to their own daughter. Wow. Evil exists, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at her in the face. With that, I'll let you go.